weird angles. Angles such as acute or isosceles. Don't you speak isosceles to me, devil. Ah, another glorious day here at the shop. Good morning, Warforge. Good morning, Paladin. What the fuck? Good morning, Cleric, my best friend in the whole world. And you too, Bard. Looking forward to your show later. What the fuck? Warlock Fighter, good to see you both. Looking great as always. What the f- Another glorious day to do all sorts of wonderful things for the world. Come here, you little fucker. Ugh, <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh, fuck. A little bastard jumped me when I wasn't looking. <sighs> Mimics, am I right? That makes way too much sense. Hi there, kids. Artpissy here with another Curse Builds episode. Today's episode features the most requested monster to do science on. It's like a high school biology teacher with tenure and a box of scalpels. Here's my best winging it during dissection day lesson. Mimics and you. But Artificer, what exactly is a mimic? Well, that's a stupid fucking question, Jimmy. It's a mimic. It mimics things. Items, objects, and such to trick prey into touching it. You may also be asking how it copied me. Well, shut up. Mimics are the greatest thing since the discovery that saying no to a succubus causes psychic damage to it. Seriously, that's a thing. Test it extensively. But why are mimics the greatest thing since prepackaged baloney? Because they can be tamed. While difficult, you can train these miniature migraines to do all sorts of things. With the right level of love and affection, these little fuckers will become the fake chest full of back taxes you owe your local ruling monarch. <laughs> We're in upon opening, said Mimic. The hungry fucker will reveal you've actually stuffed it with as many delayed fireballs as is humanly possible. Then add in one more just to break the laws of physics. Remember, kids, laws exist to be ignored. Natural laws exist to be utterly fucked with. But what other creative things can we do with a mimic? Well, anything and everything, really. Turn it into a living armor, a shield, a weapon, or my personal favorite, have a copy your Eldritch Cannon you get as an artifice artillery, sir. Then feed the hungry little cunt as much junk as you possibly can. Teach it to hate the government as much as you do. And watch all those pesky debt collectors get absolutely shredded when knocking on your door. FBI, open up! Maybe, just maybe, you suck at animal handling. And I mean, why wouldn't you? In the world of fantasy, who the fuck has time to tame and train animals, especially considering you're usually balls deep in a dungeon getting manhandled by every monster in the manual. <laughs> Have you heard of war crimes? There are these fun little achievements you can cross off your to-do list every time someone cries foul. It just so happens my favorite achievement is stuffing the hungry little fuckers with as many black powder satchels as I can get my hands on. Afterwards, rig up a rudimentary fuse and send it into the room of a dungeon boss. With so much black powder in it, the little guy will be thirsty for the blood of your enemies if there's no... <laughs> With so much black powder in it, the little guy will be thirsty for the blood of your enemies if there's no whack modeled sprite around. And once it takes a bite, watch the fireworks light up the room like the 4th of July. What's a July? Well, that's all the time we have for today, kids. What other creatures do you want to fuck over with bobby pins and paint thinner? Comment below and let me know. As always, science isn't about why, it's about why the fuck not.